Here's the starter problem for today. Uh, what do centripetal forces do? Okay, and then solve this problem. Here's what's given. You got the radius of 10, mass of 10 kilograms, velocity 10 meters per second. You're moving in a circle like this. And we want to know what's the centripetal force. So figure that out. And then uh, number three, why do centripetal forces do no work? Here is a hint. Work equals force times displacement times the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement. There's your hint. Okay, if you're watching this online, if you're absent or whatever, pause the YouTube video now, try to work these, and then hit play to hear the solution. Okay, so stop now. All right, let's take a look at the solution. There it is. All right, so what do centripetal forces do? Let me zoom out so you can see the, whoa, zoom out, turn it. Um, Okay, uh, centripetal forces, uh, they, may, they force objects to move in circles. If, if it's a constant centripetal force, and it will be. They also don't change the speed. They only change the direction. Only direction. They change the direction of the object, but not the speed. Okay, and then number two. Um, so triple force is mv squared over r. You plug in your numbers, you get 100 newtons. Now on the state standards test and on the final exam, so seniors, this applies to you too, you're not going to be allowed to use a calculator. Gasp. The problems are this hard in terms of arithmetic. You should be, if you need a calculator, you're do, either doing it wrong or you need to rep repeat the sixth grade or something, okay? So the arithmetic is super simple. All right, now number three. Why do centripetal forces do no work? Well, if, if this, is the, this is the equation for work. Work is done when the force and displacement um, are in the, have a components that are in the, the same direction. That's what that cosine theta does for you. Now look, here's an object moving in a circle. Here's the force acting on it. Maybe this is a planet in orbit around this star, and this is a force of gravity or something. So here's the force, here's the force. Centripetal forces are always pointed towards the center of the circle. But if you look, like right here, it's displacing in this direction. If you look over here, it's moving in this direction. It's displacing in that direction. And those are always 90 degrees apart. The force and the displacement are always 90 degrees apart, which means that the angle between the force and the displacement is 90 degrees. And so what's the cosine of 90 degrees? It's zero. So therefore, work must be uh, zero. Okay, it's because that angle theta is, is 90 degrees. Now, here's another explanation, a totally different explanation. Remember the work energy theorem. The work done by the net force is equal to a change in kinetic energy. Well, here's uniform circular motion. I'm just moving at constant speed in a circle. Well, the kinetic energy isn't changing. Uh, the work energy theorem says the work done by the net force will result in a change in kinetic energy. But there is no change in kinetic energy. 1 half mv final squared minus 1 half mv initial squared. The, the uh, final speed and the initial speed are the same. So this will be end up being 0. So therefore, the work done by the net force is 0. And the net force for an object that's in uniform circular motion is uh, um, the net force is the centripetal force. And it's not changing the kinetic energy of the object. Therefore, the work done by the net force is zero. So that's, a, that, that, that's an energy way of looking at it, you know, work energy theorem. This is kind of the definition of work. Both of them lead to the same answer. They should. And this is one thing I'm going to be trying to do now that we're reviewing for the final, we're reviewing for the state standards test, is that all this stuff is interconnected. It all makes sense together. Like when we learned centripetal force, we hadn't even done energy yet. Okay? So now, but now we can apply energy ideas to centripetal force.
Okay, so that is all.